In this video, we're going to have a look at adding ranking questions into Microsoft Forms. So just like any other question type in Microsoft Forms, I'm going to be looking for the Add New button, which is down at the bottom of my screen. And then I can see at the moment ranking isn't on there. So I've got the, the arrow at the right hand side and I'm going to use that to see more options. And ranking is there and available for me. So I'm going to add my ranking question. Now let's have a look at what you can do with this question type. So I've got a question. I can type in the question. So, so I can do something specific like have a different options and get my feedbackers to rank them in order of importance or rank them what, what was better, what was worse. If it's a product feedback form, if I want some competitor information, I might want to rank them in the products they like more and the products they like less. Loads of great options with ranking questions. You can see there I can add an image, so I can add media like before which might help with the information behind whatever I'm ranking. So I've got a couple of options here. So I'm going to add some different parts of the event because it's event feedback I'm looking for. And I'm just going to go back and fix my capital letters because I always want it to look really nice as I'm doing it. I can also add more options and I do have the rubbish bin to delete any options on the right hand side. When I hover over a question as well, I'll see six dots on the left. So just to the left of where it says introduction. If I click and hold there, I can move these options around as well. I've got my usual options at the top here to copy, delete and move the question up and down around my form. And then towards the bottom, I can have this as a mandatory question, so it's required or up to the person who's given me the feedback as to whether they want to answer this one. And let's just click on the three dots and see what's available. So I can add a subtitle and I can also add branching as well. So go and have a look at that branching video if you haven't already, but that allows me to send the person who's filling in the feedback form off to different questions dependent on the answers I'm given. So nice, easy question type there to add. And when I click away from that one, you'll see that information's been added. If we just go and have a look at the preview for this one, because I think it's useful to know what it looks like. And when you do work with questions and it is the first time you've used them, then definitely use the preview to see what that might look like and the user experience that is gonna be there. So if I just scroll down, I've got my rank these in order and you can see I've got the arrow so this is how the end user will rank them for you and then submit them so they can move them around nice and easy to do as soon as they hover over each option. So have a go at the ranking questions you can get some really nice feedback and put uh, parts of your event, different products, competitor products, whatever your survey is about, your feedback survey in order so you can see where the preference really is. And again, it's a nice user experience there to do something different than answer a multiple choice question or put some information in. You're going to get some really nice data out of the back of that as well. So have a go at ranking questions.